This is Jason Jones, and I'd like to share with you my technique of post-optic buttonholing. Once the capsule bag is emptied of its lenticular material, the central capsule is polished using a Terry squeegee, and then a small amount of circumferential peripheral cohesive viscoelastic is placed within the capsule bag. This permits removal of LECs using curettes. The central posterior capsule is then engaged using a hypodermic needle and the flap is grasped using utrata forceps. The continuous tear is initiated and then additional cohesive viscoelastic is placed through this capsular opening you note carefully here, you can actually see the wave of viscoelastic dissection along the hyoid face and the rest of the continuous posterior capsulotomy is propagated in a relatively routine fashion. And it should be noted that the posterior capsule is more diaphanous and extra care needs to be maintained to have a proper tension and directionality of the uh, tear of the capsule. Additionally, it should be noted that all of these manipulations are performed entirely within a viscoelastic filled environment and therefore risk of vitreous engagement is minimal and it is a very safe technique. Once the tear is completed, a single piece acrylic lens is placed into the capsule rim. This capsule rim has been inflated with additional cohesive viscoelastic. Each of the haptics are unfolded into the capsule rim and then the optic is gently prolapsed through this posterior capsulotomy. Given the lax nature of the posterior capsule, this prolapse is relatively easily achieved. Any additional cortical remnants are aspirated and the viscoelastic is removed from the anterior chamber. This provides a very stable lens placement.